Hey, it's Chuck here back with Milton Daily Homes, the Friday edition, and we're about an hour from leaving for Montreal for the weekend. My, my wife, Melissa, is becoming a godmother, and she's very excited about that. So I was thinking to myself when I record this video, I got to change the background, so I apologize for the bad background. I hope that's not why you're showing up. I hope you show up to get really good listing information, uh, to get stuff faster than you can ever find on MLS.ca. So anyways, the first one up is 1471 Maple, number 408, 2249, and a really, really slamming deal. This one's a one plus one, so it's a one bedroom plus den. It's on the fourth floor, so you see these 12 foot ceilings here. It doesn't feel real lofty, but it definitely feels open, makes everything look bigger. And hardwood floors, they've done some nice stuff in the kitchen. Uh, it looks like a tumbled marble backsplash, stainless steel appliances, yada yada. Very, very nice. Like it a lot. And uh, and I definitely think that it's a good deal. It's probably going to sell in the next couple days. And the maintenance fees are $186.88, and they include water and then the, the sort of common element standard stuff. Now, McCandless is $299, and it's a three bedroom. It's not a zero washroom. I'm guessing it's a two washroom home. And it's probably just over 1,100 square feet. You've got a 12 by 19 room, and then you have a little kitchen, so there's not even a lot of eat-in space in there. Typically for a good spacious kitchen, you're looking about 15 to 17 feet wide, and then upstairs you got the three bedrooms. So they say quick closing here, O'GradyHomes.ca. We should put the pictures up on MLS. That would be a good first start. Uh, 340 Prosser is 307. Uh, Brennan, Amesbury, I think it's like the 10th one that's been listed this week. Uh, pretty popular model. And because it's really the entry point in Madame for getting a two-story home instead of a three-story, and you get a yard here. So some people say, do I get a 1350 square foot home with no backyard that's three stories with a whole bunch of stairs, or do I go two-story and get some of the other features and only have 1,100 square feet? So really interesting dilemma. And this one here, um, hardwood floors, you get the gas fireplace. Hardwood is something that people look for, but it's actually very easy to put in. The budget I typically use, about five bucks for the hardwood, five bucks a square foot, and then two dollars a square foot to install. So I, I multiply usually the area the, of the floor by seven, come up with a number that's pretty reasonable for what you could expect to pay uh, to put hardwood in. And then you can choose your own color. So island in the kitchen, really nice. Stainless steel appliances. There's a little door to the garage in this little nook here. Uh, they've done the California arch there. Bedrooms are good. There's only one bathroom upstairs, just like the previous one. And I'll tell you, I saw the one that sold for 310 on Kerr. And this one is uh, is actually looking a little bit better inside. But there's a lot of these. So when there's when there's a lot of supply and excuse me, and demand doesn't change, it can typically cause a war between all these homes trying to sell. Uh, 73 McCandless 309, I think this is the same model, and it talks a lot about uh, upgraded half-inch broadloom, um, so you're getting sort of that thick under pad, uh, but no hardwood here. Looks like they've done some dark stained railings pickets. Obviously, everyone talks dark, dark, dark. That's a very popular thing these days. I think this is the same model as the previous one. If it were me, I'd take the previous one in a heartbeat. 620 Ferguson, number 30. Now these have about a $40 to $50 maintenance fee on them, 314. There's no pictures yet. Now you can check back on the link at the bottom of this post at Milton Daily Homes. And as soon as the pictures get loaded, you're going to see them right away. And I had clients, I believe, that rented this home a couple of years ago. And, uh, and I remember the layout was pretty good. They had a lot of problems in the beginning. There was a lot of stuff that the builder, builder was cost corp, and they had a lot of issues. I found the quality of building wasn't up to cost corp standard. Okay, so 1307 Cartmer Way, it's 314.9. It's a three bedroom, two washroom. The builder, I believe, finished the basement here. Hardwood floor, it doesn't give an actual size, but it's over 1,500 square feet. And I'll tell you, for all that stuff for the price, New River carpet in the basement, you got a gas fireplace in the basement. I bet you this one's really, really good, and it's probably going to sell very quick. Uh, 440 Duncan Lane, 324. Duncan Lane, the infamous, fronts onto train tracks. And I'm not talking like there's like a hill and then there's a fence. You see the tracks, boom, right there, right in front of the house. So to me, I would never live there. But anyways, the house is pretty good. It's a Jasper model. It's over 1,600 square feet. And you've got the kitchen with the eat-in area. You've got the open space here. Um, bedrooms are all really good size upstairs. Um, no real shots of the bathroom, so it's tough to tell how those look. Uh, they're looking for a Hoon 28th 
to 30th possession, so I believe that's June with a spelling error. And 775 Gleason is 369. There's a good shot of the yard. It's about a 100-foot yard. It's a sundial home. And these homes, I find, really feel like, ch -ch -ch, like real choppy. So this is an end unit, which is nice. And inside, you get a nice open concept. Sometimes townhomes are very ruthlessly efficient in their space. And so this one has a nice open area that they could have built stuff above. But they said, you know what? No, we're going to make it a nice entrance. Uh, hardwood stairs. That's like a river rock. I think that's a fireplace in the actual kitchen island. Uh, I don't know what it is, but either way, it looks really cool. I bet that this one would look even better in person than the pictures. Okay, great looking kitchen, very open concept design. It's a good size home, 1756, I think, is the square footage. Nice piece of property. At 369, you compete with the semis, but it's an end unit town that looks like this. I'm interested. It's definitely unique. It's a one-of-a-kind kind of home. Now, another one-of-a-kind one is 80 Van Fleet Terrace, 369-912. It's a semi-detached. And let me show you on the map where it is. So if, you, if you're driving down Dare, you're going to turn left on Scott. This is the Mattamy part, south. And then you're going to go down the street. And then Van Fleet, you're going to turn in. And this is number 80 right here. So you've got the train tracks beside. You've got the, the hill, the berm there. And behind, you've actually got protected land that's uh that's the gas line that runs underneath there and so it'll never be built on it's just utility lines and um you know it's kind of flat land there's no forest there but very interesting i mean if you're not a big fan of neighbors this one might be interesting um not a big fan of neighbors and you don't have a budget of half a million dollars then this one could be an option 1700 square feet semi Really nice. I think this one is a good model. Laundry on the second floor, great room, nice size, all that stuff. Um, 641 Hood Terrace is 449. And this one looks better in person, too. This is an absolutely beautiful home. Sterling model, about 2,100 square feet. Done a lot of upgrades in here. And the one thing to be aware of, uh, oh, there's lookout windows there, too. So nice big windows if you finish the basement. The one thing to be aware of is they're looking for a September 30th possession. A little bit early to list this time of year, but I guess they figured let's give it a try and see. So if you're looking for a longer closing, this one could be a, uh, a nice fit. And it's a 46-foot yard in the back, so it actually pies out. My clients had an offer on this one and uh, actually were in competition. Uh, had a really strong price offer, but they couldn't do the closing of September. So that's obviously pretty important to these guys. California Shutters, beautiful home. 1009 Easterbrook is a 66 by 124 lot. That's like old Milton size, but it's a sundial. It's a new home, and it's not new, a couple years old. It's 464.9. It's four bedroom, three washroom, over 2,000 square feet, living, dining, family, kitchen on the main level, four really good sized rooms upstairs and uh, hardwood on the main, all that kind of stuff. I think it's uh, it's really looking like one to see. My wife's going to preview this. If you go to youtube.com slash charlton group, we're going to put a preview up on YouTube of this one. Just uh, We're doing it for clients that are coming out of town. So 617 Logren is 505, and Logren fronts onto Derry. So if you remember where the, the Mattamy model homes were in the Coates phase, this one fronts onto Derry, same as that. Okay, so that those were on Brothers Logger and same kind of thing though. Uh, 2,400 square feet. I mean, it's a really good price for the size of the home. It's a great looking home. It's not perfect inside, but I think that you could work with a lot of the stuff. But location, really tough. The street is is actually like you could kids could play hockey there, but you just you hear Derry. It's right there. Okay, so next up is 1589 Cavell, and there's another model. It's called a Bellingham, and it's on Hearst, and so these guys are going head-to-head. -head. Um, this kitchen, in my opinion, looks a little bit better. I believe the other one has a finished basement, too, so it's a real nice competition. Good, Good-sized rooms upstairs. Uh, you got the gas fireplace, all that kind of stuff, 56 by 80, so it's a really wide piece of property. This is one of the smaller 56-foot lots that Mattamy built. Uh, or 56 foot properties that Mattamy built. 56 by 80 with a smaller home, they build right up to 35, 3,700 square feet on these. So you actually get a bit more yard uh, at the, I guess, at the expense of not having as big of a home. Wayne Scotting in the fourth bedroom. So they put a lot of nice features in here. I'm excited to see which one sells first. And uh, I'm also excited to get going on the road to Montreal. So have a great weekend, and I will talk to you on Monday. All right, take care. Bye.